my friends. Thank you so much for taking a minute to stop by my channel. This is a really long overdue haul video. I had done a question poll type thing over on the channel tab or community tab on my uh, home YouTube page and people suggested that or said that they would like to see a video like this and I have just gotten to it now and I do apologize for that. A couple other things got in the way. Um, my husband had surgery. He ripped the tendon in his arm, ripped it right off the bone and uh, so I've been kind of dealing with that. So Without further ado, let's get to this haul video. And I believe all this stuff is from Target. Uh, one, the first item I'm gonna go ahead and start with because I already opened it because I couldn't wait. If you are familiar with Tree Hut products, I know you haven't. If you haven't, you need to be. Oh my gosh, they are so freaking amazing. They're the products that have the um, the sugar scrubs. The I mean, they just have amazing scents. And then I got word that they came out with body washes. Yeah, who knew? And originally I had read that they were only going to be available at Ulta. And I was on my way to Ulta because, you know, I'm always on my way to Ulta. And I happened to stop at Target to see, you know, a couple of other things I had to pick up there. And lo and behold, I found the body wash. So I got the Coco Colada Foaming Gel Wash. It says it's a hydrating oil complex with pineapple and coconut, radiant and refreshing. And I was so super excited because I have the coconut sugar scrub that just smells out of this world. It, you just believe you're on a beach somewhere. You are in the tropics. It just smells so delicious. So I assumed that this body wash was going to do the same thing and it kind of didn't. I mean, not gonna lie. It's not awful, it's not terrible, it's not horrible. It just, I was a little underwhelmed. And I'm sorry to say that, please don't send me hate. I was just a little bit underwhelmed. I was expecting a little more of a beachy fragrance. I mean, it's got a little bit of it, but I just detect some underlying smell that doesn't put me in that same happy place as the sugar scrub did. So I'm going to use up the end of this and I may give another scent a try just because I absolutely love Tree Hut. And I don't know if this was just some random thing that got mixed up, but yeah, not, not, not crazy about that. Nevertheless, moving on, I decided to pick me up a new razor. I got me one of these Billy razors. Have you heard? And, um, I have always been a diehard fan of the men's Gillette Mach 5 razor. I like the five blade razors just because you get such a good shave. And why should men have all the good razors, right? So that's what I've really used for years. And uh, I said it was time for something new. I just wanted something new. And th these Billy razors, if you've seen them, they have such pretty packaging. It's so ladylike. It's got the tangerine and the light blue. And I just thought, I'm going to go get me one of these. So I did. And this is called the Malibu Starter Kit. And it comes with one razor handle and two five blade razor refills. I was really excited about that. And a magnetic holder, which I have yet to get put up in my bathroom. I don't know what the heck I'm waiting for. So it's just still sitting on my soap dish in my shower. Nevertheless, I digress. This is the sharpest damn razor I've ever bought in my life. I crap you not. And I've been shaving my legs since I was in like kindergarten. I'm not a hairy girl. I've just always been very girly. And uh, yeah, and I went to Catholic school in Warsaw. <laughs> I had to, I had to get rid of that hair when I was young. I couldn't stand it. So nevertheless, I've been shaving for a really long time. This thing cut me. And I was so surprised by that because I know not to go in, you know, with heavy pressure or in a hurry when you're shaving your legs or any of your bits that you're shaving. I know that. This is a good thing and a bad thing. It's good because, oh, she's sharp. She's sharp. She's going to cut right through that hair. She's going to get to the root of the problem, so to speak, and uh, cut your hair. But uh, I got cut on this. And not the first time and not the second time. Like three times in a row, I managed to get a razor cut. I haven't had a razor cut in years. So if you want a really good shave, I'm going to go ahead and say, get you one of these because it cut the crap out of me. Just go real slow, be real careful, and lather up with a really good shaving cream first to help you avoid that and do hang it up with a magnetic holder because um they always not sit in your soap dish like it is mine and it comes with it enough about the billy razor right i grabbed a satin sleep cap to protect my hair while i sleep i'm so excited about this for so many reasons um i have had short hair all of my life like super short hair this is the longest my hair has absolutely ever been in my life i know right i've always had that super short hair so now that i've grown it out um I've been using a lot of the, um, the heatless curling. There's so many different videos out there now about how to do different heatless curls. If you would like me to do a video on that, please give me a shout out down below because um, I had done a short on that and I didn't get too much feedback from it. So if you guys aren't interested in that, that's okay. Let me know. But if that's something you'd like to see, because I found a lot of really cool ways to do heatless curls that are so less damaging to your hair. You can do it the night before. That way when you get up to go to work, bang, you just take them out and you're ready to go for work. So 
That being said, um, I also like to protect my hair. I do use a satin pillowcase that helps with your skin so your skincare doesn't rub off onto your pillow and it helps to soften your skin and it also protects your hair. So I got one of these sleep caps because my hair is starting to get in my way when I sleep. So I need to pull it back and um, it gets tangled everywhere. So I'm gonna try this out with a product that I'm gonna show you here towards the end and for my heatless curls. So really been wanting one of those and I was glad I found that. I got a lot of hair products this time. And guess what I found? I found these little silk scrunchies and I've got to keep these as far away from the dog as possible because he will love these soft little things to put his mouth and run around. But these were big so many years ago. <laughs> Again, back to the 80s when everybody had a scrunchie and then you wore it on your, you know, your wrist for whenever you need to do your hair, yada, yada. But I like these because these won't break my hair because a lot of times if I'm just you know, working on my vlog or doing, you know, getting videos ready or whatever it is I'm doing throughout the day. I don't want to put a tight ponytail in my hair because first of all, it does lead to hair breakage. And second of all, it also you get that bump in your hair. And then if you let your hair down, it's like you have to kind of do it again because you have that big bump. So these little satin scrunchies not only feel so nice, they're super gentle on your hair. So I'm really loving that for all those reasons. I just got to make sure I keep it away from the DOJ because he will run with these. So something else I got that I was gonna maybe mix with my satin hair cap are these thermal rollers. And they're also by Tish. I don't even know how you pronounce that. But they're also the makers of the thing that goes around your head like that and you twirl your hair. I did do a video, I did a short on that video. If you would like me to do a longer form video on that, please do let me know because I'd be happy to redo that because it's a really cool tool. But these are the one that um, says they pump serious long lasting volume into your waves and curls. So what you can do is because they've got like a metal inside of them. Say you've got like third day hair or second day hair, but there's already some product in it. You can section off your hair, roll it up, and then heat it up with a hair dryer to reactivate your hair products that you have in there. And bada bing, bada boo, your hair is uh, got a lot of volume and a lot of curls. So um, I had to buy a bigger set because like I said, my hair is getting longer. I wish they made an even bigger set, but they don't, but that's okay. Um, looking forward to doing that as well. And at that time, I can wear my satin hair cap. So I'm really excited about those rollers. I did find these, I definitely found at Aldi. Or, oh Lord, Lord help me. She's nuts. Aldi. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Not at Aldi. Alta. What could be better than Alta and Aldi, anyways, right? You know, get your makeup on, get some snacks on. Moving right along. Okay, I, uh, my dog ate this, so we can't. It was a little halo. It, before the dog ate it, it was the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder Puff. I'm sure you've seen them. They're like in a triangle shape where they look like a little slice of pizza. And it was pink and it was beautiful. And it was great for doing your under your eyes. But I'm going to have to get another one because he ate it. Okay, I'm wearing these today. I bought about four boxes of these. Um, these are the Eyelore three-quarter length lashes. I love these so much because I don't like to get it like a really heavy look, but I have them on today and they are so weightless. I love it because you just have to worry about getting them on the sides. Sometimes it's really hard to get that fake lash. I mean, you of course trim your lashes when you get them, uh, trim the length rather not, not that. These are perfect for just sitting on the side of your eye. So light. It came with a little tiny thing of glue. Now I do always wash my lashes after I wear them. Uh, these types of lashes, I, uh, lashes I also have, like I do lashify as well if it's, you know, if I'm going somewhere. But these lashes are completely reusable if you uh, cleanse them properly after you take them off at night. And I've been getting a lot of wear out of these and I bought a lot of them and I'm really glad. But again, it's the three quarter length Eyelore lashes. Really so light. I couldn't believe, I'm really shocked at how light they are. And I got another set of Eyelore. These are the pre-glued Lux Faux Mink. And again, there it says 15 hour wear, it takes seconds to apply. These come pre-glued. These would be great if you were traveling, so you don't have to worry about the glue or anything like that. And these are a different look for me, but I'm excited to try them out. I'll probably wear them in my next video. Um, so I don't know what the Faux Mink means. If they're as light as these are, I'm really excited to try it. So but they're a little bit longer of a lash, which I try not to do that too much at my age. Nevertheless, okay, and guess what else I decided to pick up? I just, I, I'm going in. This is the Ardell Brow Laminator Kit. I'm I'm going in, guys. I'm going to try. My, my, my brows are microbladed, and I do have to color them, but I am really intrigued with this brow lamination stuff because I've been using the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah. Brow gel 
And uh, I'd like to try the brow laminator kit. Has anybody had their brows laminated? I don't know anybody. I've seen it on people, but I don't know anybody personally who's had theirs laminated. If you have, did you enjoy it? Why or why not? Was it a good experience? And how long did it last if you got it professionally done as opposed to this one here? It says it lasts up to five weeks. I don't know. I also don't want to do it if it's going to look weird. So please let me know what your experience was with that. I also went ahead and picked up, this is a brand I have never really worked with, so I'm excited to try it. I picked up a whole stash of Rimmel makeup, R-I-M-M-E-L, Rimmel London. So I went ahead and I got um, the foundation, the blush, the bronzer, uh, the, the whole shebang because I want to do a future video using these products. I've never tried them and they were really reasonably priced. So, you know, sometimes that's good and sometimes that's bad. You know, Elf is very economical and it's a good product, but then there's other products that are inexpensive and they're not. So. I've never tried a Rimmel product before in my life, so I'm getting excited to try that. And I will film a Get Ready With Me the day that I do that video. If there's anything in particular you'd like me to do with those, let me know, please. I need to know what it is you want. And I had to pick up the e.l.f. A Lash in Roll, and this is a complete and total dupe for the Benefit um, mascara. You know what I'm talking about. Identical, but holy cow, is it ever cheaper, way cheaper. And I am such a sucker. I picked up yet another Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I cannot stop buying these Maybelline, uh, their new lip products. Can't get enough of them. They are beautiful. They wear so well. They don't have an odor or a scent to them. So pigmented, absolutely beautiful products here. We're gonna go ahead and put a little dab right here. Mm, just because I love them that much. Doesn't even go with the shade I'm wearing, but I really don't care. This is like a gold. Do you know how nice this shade is going to look this summer if you self tan and you're out on vacation or something and you've got this bronze lip going on with it. This is in shade 010 Crystal. Love it, they're reasonably priced, but I just think it's gonna be a great look for summertime. I mean, even a daytime look, you could get away with that this summer. Last but not least, I picked up some of the NYX Brow Glue, the Instant Brow Styler. I want to compare this to the uh, Got To Be by Schwarzkopf, their brow gel, which is like right now the best one that I found so far. So I'm dying to try it with this NYX product, especially since the Got To Be by Schwarzkopf is so incredibly hard to find. Last I heard and last I did, I had to order it off of Amazon. It was that difficult to find and I don't want to fall in love with a product that's that hard to find, if you can understand. So that is all I have for my haul. Uh, again, this was voted in on my community tab over on the front cover page of my YouTube channel. Um, I'm really gonna start using this. So I really would like you know a lot of feedback on there for you guys. Thank you for the people who did. And uh, I had said yes that I would do this and <laughs> it took me a long time, I'm sorry. So like I said, go on over to that community tab and uh, tell me something you would like to see next. Again. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me. I appreciate it. Please smash the subscribe button and click the bell so that you can get notifications when I post another video just like this.